the church as we know it is calibrated for a world that no longer exists. Mm -hmm. Everything that we have done, all that we have created was created in the last century. The way that we preach, the way that we teach, the way that we do small groups, all of that was done in a world that's actually quite different than the world we live in now. So we're going to have to innovate. The problem with, with that is that all the stuff that you read on, on innovation says that the best way to innovate is to abandon the past. We're never going to do that. We will never stop reading 2 Corinthians. We'll never stop saying Jesus is Lord. We'll never say, stop saying love your neighbor as yourself. So what does it mean to maintain a rock-solid commitment to the unchanging Christian gospel and at the same time take up a way of presenting that gospel in new and creative ways to an ever-changing culture. So an, an unchanging gospel for an ever-changing culture. Innovation cannot happen all at once. We have this tendency to think, well, we're going to have a meeting. We're going to make some ideas, and then we're going to do stuff. Innovation is something that it's a change of culture. It happens over time. It requires new habits and it builds, and it won't happen until the very thing that you long for is changed. And if I listen to you long enough and I understand your losses and your pain in a new way, I will long for a new thing, but it cannot happen quickly.